This is an iconic night. I'm here at Leicester Square with that grape juice. My name is Samuel Enney and this is Gladiator 2. An epic sequel. I didn't know we was even going to get this, but I'm so happy Ridley Scott decided to do a part two to this movie. And I urge each and every one of you to make sure you go head down to the cinemas this weekend and give it a watch. I mean, it's insane when you find out that you're going to be in Gladiator 2. You know, you jump up and down. My brothers are filmmakers. And we, Ridley Scott is the hero of ours from when we could crawl. And up until this day. So calling my wife to say that I'm in Gladiator 2, she jumped up and screamed me live. But calling my brothers and saying, I'm shooting with him. That was a moment. Truly, It was a moment. It was absolutely fantastic. And you finally arrived now. Tell me about being in that setting, being in that historical presence of being on a movie such as Gladiator, uh, what was it like being on set? How was your experience? It was amazing. You're, you're, you, as you, you, your car pulls up, you're going from a city. You're in Malta. You're going from a city that looks like a city, and all of a sudden, you're, you're, you're in ancient Rome. I had riding lessons every morning, and I sometimes we'd ride down to set and just ride down an ancient. Okay, we're now in Rome, and it's. Would you like to And now that you're finally here. I wanted to know, of course you've seen the original one, what would the fans from the you, original for your brother. feel and think when they see Gladiator 2? I would say that, that Gladiator 2 is to Gladiator 1, what Godfather 2 is to Godfather 1. So very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. This is the natural progression of the story. It is what we want to know, what we want to see, and how the story would progress in a natural, organic way and in a spectacular fashion. And as you mentioned, my last question, as you mentioned, Ridley Scott is a fan of yours, he's a fan of your family members and stuff. What was it like just working and learning from these guys? Working from one of the greats. What did he teach you about your sister? He taught me he taught me everything. He taught me the importance of play. It's called a play. Just find the, the, the playfulness of the scenes. It's not, it's serious, it's a serious game. We're playing a serious game, but it's like we need to do all our preparation, we need to get all our clothes just right, we need to get the script just right, and the casting just right. But when we show up, let's have some fun. Let's find some Let's have some fun. Yeah, yeah. If we have fun, they're gonna have fun. So tell us, what does Gladiator Suit stand out? How does it stand out to the original? First of all, the first, the first one is amazing. The original is amazing. I've watched it so many times before I knew that I'm going to be in this movie. So it's amazing. And if you want to compare it here, it's bigger. I think it's much, much bigger. The, the scenes, everything, every scene, every fight you see, it got bigger and bigger. Then you just stay with your jaw. Like, you don't know what you see there. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I heard you were filming this in Malta. Yeah. Being on the historic set, Creating that scene and that landscape. What was it like experiencing it being in the movie? Wearing the attire and everything. What was it like for you? First of all, it's funny to, to walk with a skirt all day. Even though it's a starter. Um, but um, listen, to be there, just to be part of this huge big they, they just built the Colosseum, they built the streets. And Malta is very it well, looks like Rome in a way. Sweet. So just to be there, you immediately feel that you are in there. You don't have to work so much to understand where you are. So it was really amazing. For you, so um, what was it like getting into character? Was there any challenges for you that you faced that you had to overcome? Yeah, the, the, there was just mostly fighting, the fighting scene. It was a, it was a challenge, uh, physically. Yeah. But it was fun, right? Yeah. Riding horses. Like, 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 as a kid, a kid yeah. in a candy yeah. store, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now you fight, now you ride a horse. <laughs> do what you do, you know, act, play, etc. So it was amazing. And the main thing is that you enjoyed yourself. And then lastly, working with the man himself, Ridley Scott. Tell it, what was it like working with him? How did he teach you? How did you best help you get to work? It's to work with a legend. So everything that he's doing, all his movies are masterpieces, right? Absolutely. And just to be part of it and to, to talk to him about his other movies and why he decided to do this scene and that scene. So it's, it's just to be with him and just to study, just to learn from him. Yeah. Tell me what you're feeling right now. What's the emotions? How's it going? Have you yeah. taken it in? How are you feeling? Quite speechless. Just got it. Emotional. Still digesting. Yeah. Time you know what I mean? It's, it's a process. Uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> I was curious about what about And actually being in this and watching the original, what makes Gladiator 2 stand up for the original? Mm. And it is 
lot of you. Also the fact that I'm a female. Uh, yeah. I like yeah. that. No, I truly have And, uh, uh, and like the fact that we get to see a female, like a little female uh, point of view. You know what I mean? Which is new. Uh, but I mean, the story is so different. And what that kind of process so looks like of those small monologues, especially uh, this. Uh, I can't wait to see. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. What, what would you say for you was like the most challenging part for you? Like, how did you get into your character? Being on stage. The most pleasure. I mean, what was the most challenging? Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. 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 To feel like I'm, yeah. I'm worthy of it. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. once I, I felt like I am, it was quite a smooth uh, entrance to the whole to the set. I felt so confident. I felt like I know what I'm doing. I trained for two weeks. For two weeks in archery, wow. and I, I got quite good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I had to step on set to do it, I was like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Ready. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was the, like in, in the hotel process, like yeah. in my room, it was like when I, Yuba, you got this. Forward, Absolutely. You know Words of affirmation. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. Last question. Really, Scott, an epic and iconic director. What was it like working with him, and how did you help best get you into your character? It was brilliant. And honestly, Richard doesn't really rehearse. Okay. He just takes you on a meeting, he's talking through the scene mm -hmm. with you, and he gives you the impression that he trusts you. Oh. And I, I mean, <laughs> It's going to be enough for I'm joining you. Let's go. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just yeah. trusting yeah. you. Yeah. And, 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 and then, just uh, after a few scenes and a few takes, <laughs> brilliant. Good brilliant. Good stuff. Now, no, be sure. <laughs> and then I think that he actually trusts me. And what an honor it is for an actress to be trusted by such a genius. This is the film that made me want to act, and that's the that's the right thing because it's like I don't know. I'm an actor. I don't want it to end. Do you know what? I said, that's what it is. I'm staring at everything. I'm making sure my eyes are open wide. Yeah, but fam, it's gonna be mad, man. It's gonna be mad. It's gonna be nice. I mean, I'm, I'm in there. I'm in this movie here and there. Obviously, me. Amen. So thank God, bro. I've seen the original now. Gladiator two. Tell us what you expect. What can the fans expect from this? Uh, how would Gladiator one fans feel about seeing this one? Bro, it's 10x. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's 10x, bro. It's like a different, a different, 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 different level. Bro. And, uh, and Renzel. Oh, okay. I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling him Renzel. Bro. Renzel, yeah. Bro, different. 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 You'll see him on the carpet anyway. Yeah. Bro. What was it like being on set of such an historic set, historic set as well? Being sitting in that room, experiencing the cast, the crew. What was it like being on a set? Wearing the armor as well, wearing the gear, bro. You were fully involved. I joined in November. Um, the rest of the cast have been filming since January. So wow. they were in Malta at 40 degrees. With wow. That, all, all, the, all, the, all of that on. I was on it at 20 degrees. Yeah. And fam. Crazy. <laughs> they recreated Rome in Malta. Fam, everywhere you did. You can rip around like it's a natural city, it's nuts, it was nuts. Pedro Pascal, Paul Mescal, Denzel Washington, I all saw them here on the red carpet and it was fun. I urge you to go check out the movie this weekend.